Well, this part right here is for Barry. Barry wanted to see where we're at, so thought I'd let you see the little park we're in. It's just a little, little town park. It's like a lock in the middle of the town. Yeah, it's just in the middle of the town. We had we had a whole bunch of people here last night, and they kind of left a little mess. But here's the camp spots. There's. There's basically four of them right here. And then you can also, you can come in here and tent camp. There's a shot down the, down the street. There's where a couple of those churches are. I don't know what this big pole is for, this white thing. You're seeing a lot of the town just in the, in the swoop here. I think it's like a gold thing because there's not that much Oh yeah, it's probably soccer is what it is. All right, and then to show you something interesting, Besides motorcycles riding by. I think these trees right here, I think that tree right there is so cool looking. Look at that thing. It looks like a big giant Christmas tree, doesn't it? It's got some kind of pine cones, pine cones or yeah. something on it. But the trees are... I don't know, but this is a really... This town was 1886 was when this town was founded. And uh, it's probably, you know, it's never been a big, huge town. But it's nice, I mean, like, it's real quiet at night. It's easy to sleep here, and the air is really crisp and, and fresh. And, and the people here are wonderful. I have some people that are next to us, and we haven't even talked to them, you know. We've just kind of, been, kind of been just kind of keeping to ourselves a little bit. Editing <laughs> videos. <laughs> Editing video. <laughs> and trying to, trying to get in uh, the, uh, mode of sugar beets. For the people that are coming for the first time this year, what's amazing, what you will find is the sugar beet harvest, it seems like it's not gonna start. And then on October 1st, it starts and it's just like full speed ahead at that point until it's over. And then all of a sudden it's just, okay, we're done and that's it, you know, and- See you next year. See you next year. And I mean, as quickly as it starts, it ends. We've gotten warnings on our phones and everything else that we're going to have some severe weather tonight. We were thinking about leaving the day, but um, you get out by Devil's Lake and in that area, there's 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 not going to be any real good camping for us. There's not going to be any electricity. Devil's Lake, yeah, I mean they got a, they got a whole bunch of campgrounds, but we don't want to spend thirty five forty dollars a night when we could sit here and get everything we need for free. So got good TV reception and good internet and water. Quiet neighbors, water, electricity, dump station. And there's a store and there's a little mini mart over at the Scenex. So. And they got a cheese company here that's going to be open tomorrow when they hit before. We yeah, leave. probably do that in the morning too. So we're gonna what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna shut this thing off and we're gonna get in the truck and we're gonna drive around town a little bit. We'll show you some. They've got some really awesome uh, churches and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. You ready? Here we go. This is the Catholic Church. I'm pretty sure that's the parsonage there. It's the same brick. It's very pretty. It's actually Sunday, so it should be Sunday. It is Sunday. There should be some church things going on. The Church of St. And that one there, I put this on Instagram. I put it on the Facebook page as well. Sorry about the wind. Yeah, that one's not used anymore, but there's another one over there. This church, yeah, they're not using this church right now. And there's a Lutheran church across the street. We don't know what time now. It's really cool though. And we're gonna shoot down the main
Sunday morning. Ask for forgiveness and then start sinning again. <laughs> Bridge, old water tower up there. There's the water tower. The population, according to Wikipedia, is 563 as of 2016. These are really old buildings, yeah. <laughs> Look at that old building. Wow. That's so cool. There we go. The guy over at the, yeah. The guy over at the Cenex said that his friend just bought that. And then here's the old fire station. There's the new fire station right next to this. So cool. And that's the new fire station. <laughs> This was the old school, and now it's part of NDSU. This is the city hall. Here's pretty though. Yeah. There's a lot of trees here. Let me get up here. It's the county courthouse. That's what this is. Some really cool old houses. And pretty much everything's very loved around here. If you don't take care of your grass, they send a city person over to cut it for you and they tack it onto your tax bill. It's like people pass away here and their houses go abandoned. But, uh... This house, they decorate no matter what day of the year it is. <laughs> Got here last year. They still had some uh, Fourth of July stuff up. Cool. And there's the park where we're staying right there. It's Towner Centennial. Towner Centennial. Eighteen eighty-six to nineteen eighty-six. They got a bell there. Hundred year. Commemoration of the town of Towner. I thought this was the old schoolhouse till Bill reminded me it's a metal building, so it's cute though. <laughs> There's a water spigot in the town park. Um, you could fill with water. It's not close to where we're parked, though. However, they the got the dump station and water right here. So, I mean, you got it all. That's no charge. A lot of people sure use this park. Sit down there and have their breakfast. Now we're back at the park. There it goes. Whip it pretty hard. Spending. Oh man. Is it gonna go? Oh, there, almost. Looks like the wind's died down. I'd say it's raining pretty hard. It's kind of why we stayed here today, because we uh, we didn't want to get caught out on the road in the heavy rains. And the wind was blowing pretty hard this morning when we got up. So, as you know, if you're a full-time RVer, one of the biggest problems of being a full-time RVer is driving in high winds. And I don't care if you're driving a van. A Class B, a Class C, Class A, a travel trailer, fifth wheel, doesn't matter. It's hard to drive in the wind. Well, if it looks like it's going to blow off or something, we'll come back to it. So 
sometimes while traveling, we come across some really interesting things like rest areas. And this one is kind of unique. It's kind of like a riverboat, the way it's designed. This is in North Dakota on Highway 2. I can here and take a look at it. It's pretty interesting, the little park benches. It almost looks like a some kind of a weird restaurant, but it's not. It's just a rest area. This blue colored glass is kind of trippy too. And this is where, let's see, there's Fort Teton and Devil's Lake. And it's on the floor. So they, they got like the steering wheel for the boat there. And yeah, it's really kind of cool the way they designed this thing. Definitely different. Bathrooms, information. Go out over here. See what's on this side. Pretty much about the same. Yeah, kind of cool. Somebody spent some time figuring this one out. Let's see what's around back here. We've been to some interesting rest stops on the, on the road. Like the back of the ship. Someone's drying their towels over here. Looks like they forgot them. Little porthole things. Anyway, there's uh, the wheel. Just thought you might be interested in seeing that. And there's the rig. Just, just stop for a few minutes. I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. And it's in the center of the highway, so the highway goes on either side. Got like a little garden area. Pretty cool. Still on our way to Sugar Beets. But I thought we'd do a little filming. It's getting cold though. Talk to you later. Thank you.